for this super easy fence all the materials I got from Lowe's and the dollar store. Uh, the first thing I got was uh, some of this, uh, this is conduit. It's one and a quarter inch uh, and it's meant for electrical you know, cables to go through. So it's much cheaper than the, than the PVC that you use for water. So this is one and a quarter from the electrical section. The next thing I got, and I got two 10 foot legs. They're huge, I almost didn't fit in my car, but I got it out. So I took the 10 foot legs and cut them uh, into three feet sections. That's how tall I want the fence to be. You can adjust it as you need. Then I went to the chain link fencing area where they have these fence posts, uh, these fence post toppers, okay? So on the chain link fence, this goes on the on the fence posts and then through here goes another post and then the, the chain link like kind of gets stretched across. Well, this fits perfectly on this. See that? Now that looks cool as it is, but I want it to be, uh, well, this is Monster Tutorials. So I went to the dollar store to get an assortment of things to top it with and all I could think of was like skulls. So I got uh, these tiny ones, right? So it would go like that, but that is tiny. So I also got one of these. So it could go like that, but that is a little huge and uh, kind of comical. So I settled with this guy. These are just some glow in the dark skulls that come with a stake that you're supposed to put in the ground. Okay, so I'm not gonna use the stake and I'm just going to glue this guy. It has a hole in the bottom as you can see. I'm going to glue it right there. But that hole is too big for this, right? So what I did uh, with all these posts, took a piece of uh, duct tape and wrapped this end of the... It's just to make it a little more snug. I still uh, added glue to the skull to mount it on this topper right here. Once I have my tape wrapped around the end right there, just pop it on, it's a little more solid as you can see. Now let's add some glue and set this to dry. I'm using this all-purpose glue that says that it adheres, bonds, metal, cork, tile, ceramics, wood, paper, glass, so it seems like it bonds everything. So just going around the edges, There you go, I'm gonna set this to dry. This will take two hours to dry, so take advantage, assemble these first and then go cut all your tubing into the three foot lengths. This is nice and dry. Fits perfect, let's go outside and paint it. This is my temporary painting booth. I'm using some rebar and a hammer. And I'm using this flat black spray paint. Let these guys dry thoroughly. It's like 70 degrees here, so I'm going to leave them out here. It's nice and breezy, nice and warm, so they'll dry in a couple hours. The last two components before we put the fence together is some rebar. This is quarter inch, two feet, so we can drive it into the ground and then slide the posts over it. Now, if you want to have the posts be really steady and not wiggle around, which I haven't found it's a problem, you take some spray foam, spray inside the, the PVC, let it harden, and now you have like a block of foam inside of the tube, and then you just drill a hole and slide these through there and the last piece is chain this is plastic chain it's like a safety chain it's supposed to keep people out of different areas it's not meant to uh, hold any weight actually it's just to to do a barrier and it comes in black and in yellow obviously we want black if it looks like real chain is the size of real chain and it's about 68 cents a foot which uh, for a little area is pretty cheap 
now once you get into a big yard it starts, uh, starts getting expensive so it's called uh, plastic chain number eight and I bought whatever was left over which is about 41 feet but we only need like 20 or so outside let's go set all this up Make sure you call your utility company if you're digging something underground to make sure there are no utilities under there. You don't want to hit a gas line, an electric line, or anything like that. Now I'm just going to thread the chain. I want it high enough that it provides a visual barrier, but making sure that nobody can go under it or over it. I mean, if they want to go in there, they will, but that'll keep a visual deterrent. That's how you make the world's easiest cemetery fence. So if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, because I have videos for all this kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time.